Hey you guys, what's up? Um, welcome to my channel and um, for all you newbies out there, I'm glad you're watching and for all my oldies but greaties, uh, welcome back. So today's segment is going to be about open box haul day. Da 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 da, open box day. But anyway, um, so I ordered a lot of stuff from eBay and I'm going to open this and you guys are going to enjoy this experience with me. I always feel like a gift present days, kind of like a birthday slash Christmas all mashed together. So, um, all the products I order are from eBay. Uh, I'm going to have another one soon from beauty.com that order some products from there. But today's all about eBay. And I don't know what to tell y'all. I didn't understand eBay. I didn't understand this whole, oh, God, I'm obsessed with eBay, but I'm obsessed with eBay. <laughs> so, um, let's start with this stuff. All right, let's. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned to the end of this video because I will give you the contest rules to enter because this video is also going to um, be shared as a makeup giveaway contest. So stay tuned for that. Makeup giveaway. Free makeup. Whoop whoop. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I have all this junk. Or not junk. But all this makeup right here. So we'll start with this bag right here. Um, this is from Shelia Hickman in West Virginia, and she shipped this to me. Good packaging. I All I did was, like, you know, open this, but I did not take anything out. I did not examine anything because I wanted this thing to surprise. So, let's see what's in here. kind of forgot who from what I ordered. <gasps> Ooh! It's the Try Me Kit for Smashbox. Only $29, but guess how much I paid? Ten bucks. Yeah, man. All right, so... In this kit, it comes... All right, find out why it's blah, blah, blah. In this kit, it includes a photo finish foundation primer, a uh, photo op under eye pri uh, brightener, a brow tick and cream eyeliner palette. Yeah, that's what I want. I wanted the full-size uh, brow tick and cream eyeliner palette. Um, let's see. Cream uh, and a dull-ended liner brush and a lip-enhancing gloss. Ooh. This is sweet. All right, let's open this up. This is really nice packaging. Ooh, look at this. Here's the stuff. Here's the DVD. Alright. Here's the little Smashbox Cosmetic. I'll read a little bit of each. Um, let's see. Let's read the brow tag cream eyeliner. Our studio makeup artists know that perfectly groomed brows and naturally defined eyes give you a polished look in just minutes. This exclusive pack, pack, palette packs in three shades of hair color coordinating brow powder to fill in and define brows a wax to groom brow hair and keep them in place all day and six are best selling cream eyeliner shades for totally customizable eye definition. Oh, that's sweet. All right, so this is the awesome photo finish. Whoops, drop that out. Photo finish primer. So, oh, it's a little squirt bottle. It's nice. I'm going to do a review of these after later. But well, actually, let's try this one out. This is the Smashbox Lip Enhancing Sheer Color. Oh, it smells like vanilla. Mmm. Mmm, I like this gloss. It's really nice. Alright, this is the Photo Op Other Eye Brightener. Cute little tube. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. Here is the Smashbox brush right here. All right, one end is an angle eye, angle in, which I'm pretty sure is for, you can use it for your eyeliner as well as to um, do your eyebrows. This brush is, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite brush because it's, it's dense, but it's a little too thick for my taste. Um, so is the other end too. Alright, but this brush will do. This will do. And here is the thing I wanted. The eyeliner. Yes. Surprisingly, I did not realize how small this eyeliner palette is. But here we go. It's really small. Can you see that? Alright, it comes with taupe, blonde, brunette, and the eyeliners are Image, Thunder, Putty, Caviar, Picasso, Midnight Brown. Midnight Brown is always a brown. 
Picasso is a blue color, Caviar is the black. Image is this nice like green with gold flecks in there, like a moss color, which is what I've been looking for. Thunder is a gray, and Putty, it's like, I don't really know how to describe Putty. Hmm. Let's test out one of these eyeliners. Alright. So they said what they did. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. I think I know. Let's see. Let's try this. I'll try the mossy one because I really wanted to see how this one looks. Okay. Oh, that's a nice color. Oh, that's nice. Nice pigmentation. It was creamy. And it does have like a nice gold sheen to it. This is a good keeper. I like this. Alright, on to the next package. Let's see. Open this. Um, let's open... I don't know what... Oh, let's open this one. Alright. This one is from P.S. I'm sure that's like a cosmetic company, but let's see what's in here. Do, do, do. It was wrapped like this, you guys. Alright, so I promise I didn't look inside. And it unfold like this. All I did was just cut it. Oh, sweet! This is what I've been waiting for. This is the... Oh, it looks like I'm missing one. Oh. <laughs> there it is. This is the NYX eyeshadow base. Alright, I got all three. Because I really wanted to try all of them. And look, they gave me a little card. This is... Oh, PS stands for Perfume Station. It's a little gift card. Present this card and receive 5% off already discount prices and yeah I don't live nowhere near them it's in California but if I'm ever over there I'll go check it out all right so I got one in the, this is the eyeshadow base one in white which is a nice white number two it's the eyeshadow base in pearl Looks the same, but I'm pretty sure the color pigmentation is going to be different. And number three, which is an eyeshadow base in skin tone. Which is a nice, like, muted skin tone. Alright, so these are really nice. They smell like baby powder. <laughs> but I'm going to try these out and see if they bring out... I mean, I've always been looking for good bases, you know what I mean? You always want to get a good base. When you do any eye look, you always want a good base. So, let's let's try out some of these. Alright, let's try out the white. Okay. Mmm. It's nice. Nice, good, creamy consistency. Alright, next one's Pearl. Oh, that's my PS3. It just now started finishing its update. Um, it's much lighter, as you can see. And it has a nice shimmer to it. And then there is... Bit skin Base and Skin Tone. This. Kind of blends in with my skin. I guess I have a good skin for this. I heard a lot, when I looked at reviews, I heard some complaints about how... You know, for depending on your skin type, it's gonna look orangey. But for me, it kind of it kind of blends in, kind of blends in well. So that'll be a good base. All right. So those are my next eyeshadow base. Sweet, like them so far. Again, I will do a review of these later. Let's see what's the next thing. Um, let's open this big boy right here. What did I get this in here? This is um, from Tina Flowers in Alabama. Yes! Oh my gosh, this is it. Okay, the this is, and they don't sell this in stores anymore, sadly. But I believe, yes it is. Nice packaging. A little bubble wrap. This is the L'Oreal Hip Eyeshadow Paints. Which, 
you know, MAC has paints and I don't have any of those because obviously I can't afford it. But I can't afford these because they were super, super cheap on eBay. Oh, wow. So I got all six of them. I got 807 in, 807 in Secretive, um, 809 in Lofty, and here's the nasty tag on this. Let's just take that off. Let's just take that off. <laughs> Okay, I'll wear that out later. So here's Lofty, 807 Secretive. This one is 817 and Nervy. I can't really tell what these colors are. They're very similar. I think there's like different skin tone type paints. Um, I don't think the, the, the L'Oreal help came out with any paints that are in like bold, uh, colorful colors. All right, let's see. This one is 811 in Commander. Yeah, I really wish she did not stick all these tapes on there. Whatever. There's Commander. 813 in Witty. Here, I'll just open this so y'all can see it. There's Witty. And the Resist Restomp, which a lot of people say is a good dupe for um, Mac Shark Skin, is 909 in Steely. It's cool packaging. Um, it comes with the brush. And it's a little case in the brush. Let's see, how's the brush? It's nice and soft. It's good. Good for eye, um, eye lid application. And it has this little mixing well right here. So, let's test out one of these all right looks cute looks like a little paint tube i feel like an artist with this all right i'm gonna put it in the well i don't want to waste any of this brush I dip it in there and let's try on here oh wow it has a nice sheen to it it's nice creamy consistency I can see this being very very blendable There is Steely, which is a nice, dark, dark gray color. This will be a very nice base for a lot of my darker eyeshadows and stuff. So, hips so far, I really like. And once it dries and set, we'll test and see how well it goes against rubbing my skin. Alright, so, whew, alright, we're not done yet.